Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Kingdoms of M.O.R. Reckoning on the PC. The last time, we uh, finally went to talk to the injured Fae chick over in the village, and now we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, we're going to start doing some of these quests that we got, we got like four of them, and we're going to go ahead and go into Agner Farhall to find, uh, who is that kid? Uh, the, uh, I think that's the, the, uh, the apprentice to the to the, uh, whatchamacallit, or the, uh, the alchemist chick. Okay, so apparently we got some moves here that we got. Let's see, upheaval, we got that for sword. Uh, hammer top, we don't have too many hammers, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, great swords, I don't care. I think it's just saying we got the new, uh, the new, yeah, the new chakra thing right here. So, let's see what that looks like real fast. Let's see, here's our normal chakra attack. And then if we hold it down, nice, nice, nice. But if we hold it down even further, yeah, nice. And it works out pretty nice because I, I tested it out just for a little bit. So you charge up like your sword attack or whatever, and then immediately start charging up your chakrams, and there you go. So that works out pretty well. I like it. It works out pretty well because you can like uh, you can like throw your chakrams, and by the time they come back, your uh, sword dash is mostly charged up, and you're good to go. Anyways, let's try to put that to use in uh, Agner Far Hall, I guess. The fast loading times in this game don't really help out too much, because then you can't read any of the text. Oh well. Let's see, am I going to be able to harvest you? No, I'm not. It's a shame that you only get one uh, talent point versus three skill points, or... However you want to, I guess one profession point versus three uh, talent points, I guess. We got a sky blossom, that's new. And we got to get to this door over here. Let's see, what, where are we at in the map? Okay, is that where the, uh, well that's fast, he's right there. You know what, let's ignore the kid. And do stuff like uh, find some boxes and a treasure chest. That's nice. All right, let's pick this bad boy. Let's try that. Nope. Okay. That was easy. Ooh, we got some money and some shards. No, just take it all, dude. Take it all. There we go. And a whole eight experience. I'm not sure why you get experience just for looting a treasure chest, but I'll take it. Alright, you can sit right there for a few minutes while I go make sure none of these plants are lootable. No? Yeah, he's probably going to want me to go down in that direction, so... Might as well figure out what he's up to real fast. Actually, you know what? Can I go down here? Eh, yeah, there's enemies down there, aren't there? You guys look like bandits. Yeah, you guys are bandits, aren't you? Lead for me now. How do I dodge again? Or dash or whatever? There we go, the B button, okay. Keep it for juggling in the air. Nice. And I can't pick up your bow even though it decided it wanted to go with me anyways. Oh, well. That does not look like a good way to land your body there, dude. I guess you're supposed to be on that little uh, fireplace right there, but that's a, a very awkward placement of your, uh, of your limbs. Looks like it hurts. Alright, we got another Sky Blossom. I think that makes, what, two now? You know what? Let's actually go talk to that kid now. I was trying to go down here, actually. Uh, can I even go down there? Or is that just, uh... 
just the way it looks. Yeah, I don't think we can actually go down there. Oh, well. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot down there anyways, but still, it would have been nice. Is that all going to be explorable over there? It looks like there's like a bridge or something over there, but I can't tell if we're going to actually be able to get to it. Alright, wake up there, uh, apprentice. What you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? I came after you for the uh, potion, but... Tell me about yourself. I'm skilled in alchemy, but it has never brought me riches or respect. The only way I will ever find glory in this life is as part of the Red Legion. They're very careful about whom they allow into their ranks. And they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Their discovery will fetch a high price in Rithir. We could even decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the Red. So you're willing to sell a airborne weapon of mass destruction just for... Fame. She, like so many others in Goreheart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. Not much is known about the fabled beings of order. They abandoned this world long ago, leaving ruins such as this as a testament to their glory. I hope that by spreading tales of spirits and boogeymen, they could prevent the curious villagers from exploring too deeply. One can always hope. Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? Am I gonna have to beat your ass now, you son of a bitch? Ow? Okay, but where'd you come from? Oh, I guess you have, uh, buddies now. Hey, come here. Go away. Okay, I'm not doing so hot here. Attack him, dude. Dude! Run! Move! Alright. Let's, uh, kill the archer first, because he's really irritating. Alright, you're dead, archer. Okay. Uh... Alright, you know what? I can actually use a potion, so let's actually use that. Yeah. There we go. Alright. I thought I killed the archer. Stop blocking my attacks there, dude. I... Okay, I was trying to remember how to cast a damn spell, but it took me a second. There we go. Daggers I don't ever use. It would have been a lot easier if his minions didn't spawn out of nowhere, but oh well. So I guess we have to go down here and try to find uh, the merchants and dispose of the dispose of the uh, for formula before they get too far with it, I guess. I'm guessing this is one of the crates. Okay, we gotta destroy ten crates, gotcha. Alright, so that's... Was that two out of ten or no? I can't tell. I thought it was, but I guess not.
Yeah, let's just kill you from a distance. Yeah, they don't seem to do a whole lot of damage. But they do enough. Yeah, they are pretty nice. Minor flame guard, I'm gonna guess that protects us from uh, fire damage. Just a guess. No crates over here for me to destroy? No? No anything to loot? No? Is that hovering in the air? Yeah, I guess some of the physics in this game are a little wonky, but oh well. Alright, let's see. Our next set of crates is up there. So that means off to the left would be like a side area, right? I think. Alright, so which one is a side area? Probably the left. So let's head left. Whatever that was, I didn't get it. I didn't see it. Alright, will I get you? Hey, we finally got Cripple Score. I think that's the one that I kept trying to harvest outside the uh, town, and I can never actually get it to harvest, I think. Ooh, a bunch of uh, gnomes. Or something. Oh, brownies. Okay, I'm trying to charge this damn thing up, but it's not working. Alright, how do I activate the, uh, the fate? I forget. Uh, let's see. How do I activate the damn fate? So go over this way. And I used the potion back, so oh well. Um, how do I activate this damn fate? I forget. Okay, uh. Okay, uh. Moves. How do I activate this damn fate thingy? Storm bolt? No. Shadow flare. Oh, that's the, uh, the rogue magic. Parry, charge shot, no, none of this. Abilities? No. Um, uh, options? Ah, controls. Uh, let's see. Item radio, stealth, abilities, block. I was pressing LT and RT. Okay, let's uh try it again. I thought I thought my fate was high enough, but I guess I gotta get it a little higher. Eh, they're all dead anyways. Screw it. I reached the limit of my inventory. The limit can be further increased through the purchase of backpacks at in at merchants. Okay. Um, let's see. How are you, anyways? You're not that great. I'll come back to you if I can find a good reason for it. Okay. Let's just get rid of some junk here, I guess. Let's see. Inventory. Uh, consumables. Uh. Sure, let's use this. Uh, let's use... Let's try what this does. I don't know what that's going to do, so let's see what it did. It uh, did something. Let's see, does it tell me what it does? Effects? Uh, 
It looks like it might have given me the health regeneration, but I can't tell for for certain. All right, we need to get rid of a few more things. Let's see, any any crappy armor we can get rid of. Let's see, we can get rid of. Yeah, you're not that bad. Five percent critical. It's not great, but. Yeah, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of those, uh... No, no, no. Don't equip those, uh... Don't equip... What, was, what did I have on? I had on the... Shepherd's Gauntlets. There we go. And... I guess... Add, no, that doesn't do anything. Add any other junk. Okay, destroy that. Nope. Ah, fuck. Alright, I don't think these uh, letters and stuff are really going to do a whole lot here. So let's just get rid of the disposal notes. Actually, you know what? You're not worth anything. Consumables, already got those. Junk, uh, accessories. That's equipped. Any really crappy armors I can get rid of? Yeah, I'd probably get rid of you. You're not that great to begin with, plus you're, plus you're stolen. Alright, yeah. Still don't have a lot of room, but eh, it's better than nothing. Alright, at least you're green. And gold, okay. So at least these I can, uh, turn into regents. Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The ancient ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. Some of those lore stones don't really seem to do a whole particular lot. And what is that? That looks pretty cool up there. I don't think I can interact with it, but it looks pretty cool. And I think this right here is going to be another side area because uh, just heading to the uh, east ish will be the actual advancement area. And. I guess my potion is wearing off. I guess that's the unstable potion. See, I have 75% fit. I wonder if that's going to be enough to activate in this uh, this fight right here. Let's see. LT. No, actually, you know what? I'll save it for probably like a humanoid enemies. There we go. Much better. Takes a few seconds to charge, but once it does, it's pretty nice. Leather boots, let's take those. White flake, I'm assuming that's a, a regent. Hey, hey, cripple spore, very nice. And what else can we grab? What else can we grab? We can grab this treasure chest. It is it locked? It's not locked. Repair kit. I don't think you guys are really worth a whole lot. Ooh, you're not too bad. 15 mana regen. I can probably get a good regen out of you. I don't think there's anything else down here, is there? I see another lore stone right there, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to do around here. Alright, so let's just keep on going. And try to find more of those uh, boxes to destroy. I gotta find some place to like store all this extra stuff that I'm not using. All right, let's see if I can't snipe you with a. Uh... There you go.
bottle of Varani wine. What does that do? Is that going to get me drunk? I know in World of Warcraft, uh, you could like drink like alcoholic beverages and it'll make you drunk. And what that does is it makes the screen kind of like blurry, and I think it messes up your controls a little bit too. Okay, I guess now we can activate the uh, the fate thingy. But we'll save that till we actually need it. Eh, I guess we can't go that way. Let's see, let's see. I see a box, but I guess it's down there with those guys. Alright. I'm surprised the fate doesn't like uh, degenerate over time. Like it doesn't like uh, fade away. It's nice that you can hold on to it. Cause a lot of games that have something special like that make it so you can only use it for like a certain amount of time. All right, there we go. Let's go to the fate stuff. Or not? Uh, oh, you gotta hold it down. Okay, that's right. Okay, I wanted to, I wanted to do that to all of you guys, but that messed up. Ah, I messed up. Oh well. Ah, fuck. Well, that didn't work out so well. Is that it? Yeah, I should have done that a little better. Oh well. Well, these are the boxes I need to destroy, right? Yeah. All right, so that three out of ten. So we did we did destroy one earlier. I just didn't think I did. I guess. And a bunch of repair kits. How about all three? What do you mean? Not, no space in my inventory. I thought they were gonna stack on the. Uh, I thought they were going to stack on the repair kits I already had. Maybe it only stacks up to five? Uh, sure, let's repair our tower, I guess. And the beast and the song. There we go. How do I not have... Shouldn't those just stack on the repair things that I already have? Or are these a different type of repair kit? That might be it. No? Seems to be the same thing as anything. Okay, let's uh... Get rid of something then, I guess. Yeah, let's get rid of these bones, I guess. Alright, are you gonna let me take these now? Alright, we got all three of them, so... I don't know why I just didn't add them into there in the first place, but okay. Let's see, then we got some of the armor and stuff. And... Hey, another lore stone. These walls are grown, are built of stone. Lovingly, this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality? They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them. Still, you can see them. They are like pathetic charades. Some with good intentions, and you can't fault them that. But the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you. Oh, it's not a, it's not a horse, it's a door. It's 
sometimes you so if you defeat them in the reckoning mode they occasionally get the uh, essence of fate region okay gold coins hey we were, we were able to take all of them yeah I don't think those actually count towards your uh, your bag limit because they're in your bag I think I mean they might but I'm not sure uh, where are we we are Oh, we gotta go way up there for those. Okay. So, we gotta go all the way up there. So, I guess there's everything in here. Alright, well, I guess what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go back to town and, uh, well, kill these wolves first, I guess. I'm gonna go back to town and, uh, drop off some of this excess baggage and stuff. And then next time, I guess we're going to go ahead and go after the uh, Krauss brothers and the other shipments. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.